Let's move on to tip four, because what we're going to be doing here is what our first exercise when it comes to developing self-awareness. So when it comes to self-awareness, and I'm going to let Jess lead this exercise, she's far better than I am at leading this exercise. But for me, just to sort of highlight, self-awareness, I think, is so, so important because personally, when I was at my lowest, I didn't have the self-awareness to even know that I was at my lowest, if that makes sense. You know, it's that self-awareness to even realize that we're burning out or we're on the verge of burning out or maybe we're taking on too much that we can handle and if we don't have the self-awareness to realize that how can we actually apply some of the tools that we're sharing today so as we've said exercise is great you know being kind to yourself ensuring you've got a good support network reaching out for help they're all really important tools but i think having the self-awareness unlocks those tools you need to understand where you are currently as well so um jess is going to walk us through a really, really interesting exercise to Jess. I'm gonna leave this one over to you. Okay, thank you. Um, so this is the values exercise, which is basically a sort of self-reflection exercise to help you build awareness of what's important to you. And actually, I think this is largely um, something that we can do to be kind to ourselves as well, is taking the time to ask ourselves what matters to us. And that's what we're going to be doing, asking ourselves, what is it um, that drives me forward in life? Like, what is important in life to me? Now, the aim is to encapsulate what's important to you in just one word, which can be really tricky. Um, and that word is your value. It's the core of what you do. It's the core of what you believe and how you want to live your life. And to give you some examples of what values are so you have an understanding a value could be something like connection or freedom or adventure things that you want to live your life in accordance with um, it can be really easy to think that a value is something that you enjoy like running for me <laughs> but if that is the first thing that's coming to your head then i encourage you to think okay what does that doing word give me now for me it gives me um adventure and it gives me freedom so those would be my values and hopefully that makes sense and you can think about it in that way as we do this exercise um paul if you could skip to the next one the next slide this is a list of values and um, what i'm going to do is give you two minutes might make it 90 seconds to make it even harder. 90 <laughs> seconds to write down as many values on the screen that you feel you want to live your life by. So starting now with your pen, some quick writing. And as you're writing them down, don't worry about how you want to be perceived. Uh, there's no right or wrong value to have. <laughs> it's it's so personal. There's no one value that's more worthy than another, so. It's okay if your list is long. We can value lots of things. You've got just over 30 seconds. Okay, that's your time. Um, so hopefully now you've got a, a page with lots of scribbled words that you can actually read and hopefully looking at those words is actually quite nice for you. Like these, seeing it written down on paper, it can be quite affirming. Um, but now what I'd like you to do is to actually cut that list down to just three values. So cross off any that aren't as important. So you're left with just three values that are the most important to you. You've got 30 seconds to choose which of the priority in your life. 30 seconds is brutal. It's hard, yeah. It's, it's not meant to be an easy exercise. So. <laughs> Just go with your gut instinct. Your gut will know what the top priorities are. 
Okay, that is 30 seconds. And I think you know what's coming and it gets even harder. You've got 15 seconds to cross two of those off, so you're left with just one. Starting now. And that doesn't mean the other values don't mean anything to you. It just means if you were to choose one word that life almost wouldn't be worth living without this one value, what would that be? Okay, that's your time. So hopefully you've got one value on your piece of paper. Now, having an awareness of what that value is, is great, but it's what you do with that knowledge. So having an awareness of the value, fantastic. Now, ask yourself, am I living in accordance with this value? Uh, is, is my work reflective of this value? Is my downtime reflective of this value? Am I engaging in this enough? And once we know what that word is, maybe it's security, for example, it can help you in times of adversity, in times when you are feeling overwhelmed. Um, if my number one value was security, I could return to that when things feel tough and I could do things that make me feel secure because that's what I value. I could spend more time at home where I feel secure. I could spend time with family where I feel secure and it can help you get through those challenging times. So just have a think about your value and whether you are getting enough of it in your life. And if you're not, how could you bring more of it into your life? It'd be interesting as well, if you don't mind sharing guys in the chat box, what that value is as well, if, if you feel comfortable to. Um, I think it's a really, really important exercise. Um, Jess, what was your value as well? Mine is connection. Um, in absolutely everything I do, whether it's work or play or my relationships, I want to feel connected. So I make a conscious effort to to build connection with everything I do. Yeah, mine's when we did this exercise, Jess did this exercise with me, mine was freedom. Um, and again, that's very reflective of the kind of work that I've created, the adventure that I always seek, you know, um, wanting to be free in emotionally free as well, you know, is, is something that's really important to me as well. So, um, yeah, as soon as I understood that, as, as Jess says as well, it's making decisions that are very in alignment with that value as well. If this decision that I'm about to make doesn't align with freedom, then it's something for me to question as well. Um, so, yeah, lots of different values coming in, which, again, shows you how individual this exercise is, too. So really, really good exercise. And again, you know, this is just one that you can use to be able to bring some more reflection and also create some more self-awareness um, in, in times that are, again, difficult too.